Well, good morning, everybody. It's Barb Katie here. I hope you had a fabulous weekend and are looking forward to an exciting week ahead. I certainly am. Uh, of course, uh, this weekend was uh, for my my family a really happy time, particularly for me. Uh, I got to spend time with uh, three of the most uh, delightful people in my life, my three sons, uh, which is always wonderful. And uh, we had a great time. We shared a lot of memories, uh, uh, some a little bit outrageous, but you have that in families as you go through the years together uh, and you treasure those memories so very much. Uh, one of the thing I was reflecting on after things settled down last night and everything, uh, you know, got quiet uh, was uh, rearing my children and uh, the lessons I learned in the process. And boy, did I learn lessons from the very get-go. It was not as uh, all the books told me it was going to be. It was subject to change without notice. And I had to learn to be flexible and to adapt as uh, events e evolved and my children began to grow and develop in many different ways. And and one of the things that I really had to focus on, and, and it pertains to our journey that we're on here, is to give up any expectation of perfection uh, and instead to choose progress. Uh, I was always very happy if uh, my children were making progress in something. Uh, Perfection, at least in our family, was not something that was necessarily even possible, let alone continually sustainable. We were all human beings uh, subject to our own imperfections. And uh, trying to chase after perfection just was like tilting at windmills. We were never going to accomplish it. But what we could do, uh, working together and maintaining a sense of humor and flexibility, uh, was to focus on progress. Uh, each of us in our family tended to learn on our own pay pace. Uh, we learned from our mistakes and I don't know anybody that doesn't make a mistake. Hopefully each of us learns and doesn't keep repeating this mistake over and over again. Uh, and we learned also to celebrate small victories. That kept us going. That sustained my son's desire to keep on improving, uh, was to make sure that we acknowledged and celebrated every small victory. Uh, well, you know, if you remember, getting healthy is different for everybody, just like growing up is different for everybody. And progress is a crucial part of the journey. And you have to really judge yourself on your own merits, not on somebody else's model. Uh, my oldest son uh, was quite a different person than my youngest son. And my middle son was a different person again. They were all individual human beings with wants, needs, and desires that were similar to, but different from each other. And those need to be acknowledged in the process. Uh, one of the funniest things that we used to do when the boys were little is we would get them all ready to go to church on Sunday and they would be all lined up on the couch, shiny as new pennies, just, you know, happy little faces. Uh, and I would go to get ready after I had made sure they were all ready to go. And I would come back into the living room and there they all were, still sitting right where I left them on the couch. The oldest in the middle looked just like I left them. But something happened to the youngest one. I don't know what. But he managed to get rumpled and wrinkled and dirty. And he never left the couch. It was just who he was. And I would just smile and get a washcloth, wipe his face off, and I'd say, okay, we're all ready to go now. Uh, who knows? Uh, you just acknowledge people for who they are, as they are, where they are, make the best of it, and move forward. Uh, one of the things that I uh, have noticed is that uh, 
when we're trying to celebrate progress of people, no matter how small, uh, we sometimes set the bar too high. Uh, had I asked my youngest son uh, to have tried not to get dirty, that just would have been like uh, uh, shouting into a windstorm. Uh, he did not intend to do anything uh, to get dirty. It just happened to him. Uh, for some reason, I think he was a dust magnet. Uh, but the thing of it was, I didn't criticize him for it because he certainly didn't do anything wrong. I just said, here, let's tidy up a tiny bit and let's move on out the door. And we'll stick to this plan and be glad that we don't have to go through a whole change of clothes to get you out the door this time. Uh, so, you know, sticking with things, being consistent, um, he learned slowly but surely uh, what he was doing that apparently attracted dust because he's certainly not like that now. Uh, but that was a memory that I was re reflecting on, on how different my kids are uh, and how important it was to let people be who they are in whatever journey uh, and to approach solutions that work for them, not that you think work for you or setting goals that work for you, but may be totally unrealistic for them. You have to be willing to accept and support uh, small uh, steps of progress that may in fact sometimes be overlooked and yet are significant steps for each of us as we're moving forward and trying to learn to do different. Uh, celebrating small victories along the way help us stick to it in the long run. Beating ourselves up because we expect ourselves to do it right the first time and every time simply is not realistic and it may in fact derail progress that we're real uh, we're already making that are getting us to where we want to go in our journey. And I think when we embrace a growth mindset, uh, things begin to sort of smooth out. Expecting growth is certainly much more realistic than demanding perfection. Shifting that mindset can help avoid problems of trying to be perfect. And they make many more things positive. When you're growing, that's a positive step. When you're developing, when you're learning, when you're embracing new ideas and ways of doing, those are all positive steps that lead you into the direction you want to go. Instead of aiming for an ideal, a perfection, think about learning from each mistake and each challenge that comes your way. Being able to identify a problem uh, increases the likelihood of learning tenfold and uh, develops growth instead of a mindset of failure uh, that can change how you feel about the whole journey. If you've set yourself up to fail, uh, you probably will. But if you set yourself up to succeed, chances are much greater than uh they would be otherwise, uh, which leads me to the thing that I was reflecting on most uh, when it came to family in general. And I think of Tops in many ways as a family of friends. Uh, the key element in all of this with our family, and I'm sure with many of you as well, was support. Was it there? Was it not there? Was it the right kind of support? Was it a difficult kind of support? Was it judgmental? Was it non-judgmental? All of these types of things when it comes to support. And I think that's what 
uh, this weekend probably reminded me of and I wanted to share with you is uh, my gratitude for being in such a supportive organization that helps build upon each success that we have, each step forward, each progressional uh phase that we enter into because this journey is progressive you know you start at point a you may go a convoluted path it may not be a straight line from start to finish you may wander off uh for different reasons at different times and need to uh, find your way again. And it's that support that helps guide and direct you when you seem to be uh, stumbling around a bit and may have lost your way. And just generally, uh, because I don't want this to be a really long talk today, uh, when it comes to support, uh, there are basically five kinds. Uh, and the, you see all five of them uh present in the TOPS organization each and every day. Uh, first, there's the educational component and uh, that we get a lot of uh, from our TOPS news on our website in the uh, Crames Library that we support uh, from our medical advisors, the research that is done that TOPS helps to support uh, either with member participant or when we can possibly manage to do so with a little bit of funding uh, uh, where we can review the options available for dealing with and treating the con uh, the condition of obesity. You know, it's, it is a chronic disease and it really needs to be examined in that light uh, in order to find the best treatment options. Uh, it runs the gamut of available treatments depending on your particular health situation that your physician will evaluate for you. Uh, going up through and sometimes including different medications or surgical interventions, depending on the circumstances of the individual who is dealing with the condition. And Educational support needs to be valid, it needs to be objective, it needs to be vetted, uh, and it certainly is not for a lay individual uh, necessarily to weigh in on yay or nay. That's the reason TOPS has always said, talk with your physician, talk with your personal care team to make sure that you're on the right health track appropriate for you and the con condition uh, with which you're dealing. And then another area of support that TOPS focuses on, and for some reasons people don't even sometimes realize it, is the importance of nutritional balance, of eating well, uh, eating clean, eating unprocessed as, as much as we can, uh, eating whole food uh, prepared healthily for us. And we have tremendous amounts of uh, literature, recipes, uh, menu plans that deal with nutritional balance. Again, with consultation with your physician in case you have medical conditions that indicate that you need to adapt your nutritional balance to maximize your best health. Another area in which TOPS uh, supports very strongly is in the area of activity um, because each of us uh, come in all different kinds of physical ability levels and it would be inappropriate to say uh, you at your size and age and general activity should be doing exactly the same activities as this person over here that may be 50 years older or younger, 50 pounds heavier or lighter, uh, have limitations of other kinds that are medical in nature that uh, 
prevents certain activities. Again, uh, building strength, building flexibility, building endurance for all of us is a good thing. But the activities by which we choose to do this will vary individually based on who we are. And it's never for somebody to say, well, if you would just do as I do. Well, I'm not you. You're not me. We have to be able to find the way that works individually best for each of us. And we need to support each other on that best path without judgment. And judgment can really deflate the best efforts of many people if you are harshly critical. And that type of support is to me absolutely non-support. Uh, it goes against everything TOP stands for. You know, TOPS is working toward uh, your best life with you in your journey every step of the way. A another area in which TOPS plays tremendous a tremendous role in support is in behavioral modification. Um, you know, that comes to uh, habits we may have uh, developed that are con uh, contraindicated to achieving the goals we've set for itself. Changes that need to be made, uh, uh, paths that need to be tweaked. Uh, being more mindful in the choices we make and the changes we are contemplating and seeing how these fit into our daily routines and lifestyles. Uh, habits are extremely difficult to modify because they're a convenience mechanism that saves people time. And so as a general rule, we're loath to let go of a habit because it's sort of a convenient go-to. This is what I do when, or uh, this is what I'm used to uh, calling out when I need. Uh, and to have to find something else to replace that, it is not as seamless and not as mindless. And that's the whole point. When it comes to habits, it, especially if you're busy, uh, you're focusing on so many things, trying to at uh, the same time that you just may not have the mental uh, space to input more changes into your daily pattern. So behavioral modification support is a true area of concern that we need to embrace and develop. And then the last one, to me, the critical key uh, of support for uh, most any uh, growth for an individual is uh, to choose a cadre of friends, family, associates who will support us in making the best changes we feel are right for us. Not expecting us to never slip up or uh, be right on target every single time, but who will aid us in continuing the journey. It's a difference between offering an excuse somebody and then enabling a negative behavior or empowering an individual to keep on growing, to keep on trying. And to me, TOPS people do best when they empower each other's journeys, when they work toward uh, the best possible life that individual could live for themselves by their definition. I'm so grateful that I'm in this group and we get to spend time uh, together uh, each and every day, being supportive, uh, being uplifting for each other, uh, being positive about everyone's ability to live their best life each day as they are 
where they are. Uh, I'm going to enjoy the rest of today um, doing uh, things that bring me happiness uh, along the way, as well as things that need to be done that may not bring me quite as much joy. I need to wash clothes today. Um, so I'm going to let you go, get on with the day at hand. I hope your day is as marvelous as you are, and I will talk to you later. Bye for now.